Okay. So we are looking at our Adventure Comics 247. We are currently on the close-up camera looking at the lower staple. So I want to point out a couple of things. When we talk about patina, see if you look at this right here, the color. Now that this is a, a a bronzed color that comes from age. It's not something that can be replicated. It's not something we should polish off. Um, people that are coin collectors, they understand there's certain you just don't clean your coins. You leave them. Same thing goes with these staples. So let's take a look at the top staple. So this one's beautiful. I mean, it's it's nice and shiny. So the reason I'm look, doing this right now, because several of you have asked me how I actually remove and reinsert staples. This one, I'm going to go ahead and treat this as though this is a pristine book. We don't want to tear any of the staples. So we're going to move in here. This is the, the inner wrap, as I call it. And what we have here are our staples poking through. The center wrap has got some tears in it. Let's move down here. And now this one is completely torn through. There's a hanging piece of paper there, which we'll try to salvage. And we're going to reinforce this from the back side. So first things first, let's get the center wrap off of here. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, just show you how how we do this actually because there was a big question about this um, I'll put my close-up glasses on so I can see I'm looking right above the camera let me move this microphone boom, boom down so we can you can actually hear me talk all right so all right now you can hear all right, so we have a couple of tools at our disposal. You know, as you know, I have my favorite uh, spatula here. It's got a Teflon coating. Um, we have a couple other tools in our toolbox that we like to use. Uh, today, I am going to go ahead and use, uh, since I left every, all my other good stuff downstairs, I'm going to go ahead and just carefully we're going to use the tip of the scalpel we don't want to damage the paper so I'm going to just gently get under here and all I want to do is just lift this up a little bit so now normally I would be using uh, Rick Morgan's uh, tools uh, he makes wonderful tools especially for removing staples but uh, I already started this video and everything's downstairs so you notice this is at an angle right now. So I don't want, I want to lift it up a little bit more. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to stick this, hold this down. I'm going to lift this up. There we go. So you notice how it's not vertical. It's not 90 degrees. It's got a slight angle, maybe 60, 70 degrees. That's the way we want it. And so now I'm going to go ahead and lift the other one. If I can get underneath it here. Sometimes they don't always do it. Nope. So what we're going to do, same deal again. Without actually tearing the paper, I'm just going to get this blade in here. We're going to reinforce this paper anyway. So, But I prefer not to tear anything. This one's just giving me a little bit of trouble here. There we go. So, you know, again, I don't want to mar the visual top of the staple okay so all right i think we got enough that i can get this spatula in underneath the gap i can and all i'm going to do is just gently lift this up now you notice right there at the top of the picture right with the staple it's pushing against the paper i don't want to do this i'm going to pull it slightly towards me because this is what causes a staple hole to enlarge. So I want to keep everything in there, keep this to a minimum. So now you can see the staples at an angle. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press down on one side. I try to find the short side. So this one just volunteered. So I'm going to go ahead um, from the back side of the paper. 
I'm going to pull it out like that, and I'm going to just pull it through all the way here, and we're just going to kind of rotate this around like that. Okay, and this is the bottom edge of the staple. That's important that we remember. Okay, so our staple is out. I'm going to go ahead and flip this now. Now, it's important to look at your staple. One edge is longer than the other. This is very important when you go to put your staple back in. It doesn't matter which one it is, one will be. So in this particular case, the bottom edge of the staple, that bottom staple, is the long leg. So off camera here, I'm going to slide this over and I'm going to put it underneath a piece of tape. I'll show this to you in a minute. I'm just kind of dedicated to using the close-up camera while I'm narrating. So let me slide this over. So this is what I always do. So I got Adventure Comics and a piece of tape. Top, bottom. And I just place that staple right underneath the B in, in its correct orientation. Now this is on a backer board. So that will go uh, back into the bag uh, and wait for the day for final reassembly. Okay, so I'm going to take away the center wrap since it's free. Now, let's take a look at these holes underneath. Now, as you can see, they're, they're slightly enlarged. That's just over age, but they're not really torn. There's a little push right there, a little push right there. Now, let's go ahead and move on to this lower staple. So, this is the same exact deal. So, what we want to do is lift underneath and like I said, I normally have tools uh, from Rick. They're downstairs, and since I already started the video, I'm just working with what I got, as I say. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to get the tip of this underneath. Now, this is one of those pages. All of these pages have to be... Uh, all of these pages have to be reinforced because remember the, the, the spine is broken um, on a lot of this stuff. So actually is, yeah, this is this is the one where you have broken spine. So we got this one up. Again, it's at an angle. I'm just going to try and press down here. There we go. I just want to get it up enough that I can get the spatula underneath. So there's no marring from the top. There's a tear there. Oh, that's right. It's torn through. So I'm going to go ahead and just gently roll this up a little bit. And that looks good because this is all torn up, as you can see. You know, this is one of those pages that. Let's keep this on top, and we just bend it up like that. Again, we got these these angles. This top one needs a little bit more of a a push like that. There we go. So now we have our angled staples. So I'll give a push. The top piece is the one that volunteered. So let me get under here, and I'm going to go ahead and push the staple through. There we go. So we'll rotate it out. I know my fat fingers are in here, people. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this to cooperate. All right. So now this bottom staple is right there. Let's go ahead and rotate everything. So we rotate it through all the way. And then it comes right out like that. Okay, so. And I got our orientation again. I'm going to take this out so we can see it. Again, one leg is longer than the other. This is the top side of the uh, staple. So, 
looking at this, again, we have a, a gorgeous patina on this staple. There's no wear marks, there's no corrosion, so everything looks really good. So again, we'll take this staple off and we'll go ahead and put it up underneath the T on our little piece of tape that's on the back of the board. And now we have our staple saved for later. So now we can examine these holes. You know, this whole thing is torn through right there. You can see it. So let's go ahead and separate these wraps. Like I said, every one of these wraps is going to get treated. So I'm going to lift this up, slide this one out. And looking at these holes one at a time, you know, this one's got you know, uh, a lot of damage right here. See right here? You know, there's a big flap right there. So that, you know, the paper's intact. So what we'll do is we'll put a, a patch on the back side of this and re-glue everything back down in place. All right, so now you get the basics on how we do the staples. So I am going to go ahead and turn this off, and we're going to get to work on this, and we'll get the wraps all done. Okay, so I wanted to show you the wrap. We've got our uh, our first wrap, and it's already been completely clean. It's pressed flat. It looks great. It's been treated in the blue light chamber. However, we need to remember the the, the spine break we saw in the earlier in the video. So we're gonna have to we're gonna address that now. Now I have a uh, LED light table, which uh, is nice and flat. Works great. So we'll turn this on, and now you can actually really see prominently the, the splits in the paper. So what we're looking at here is we've got our upper staple. It's got a few splits right on the edges. Lower staple, the side splits here. We got a full-on break. This is one we looked at in the video where I, I actually pulled the uh, pages apart. And then the, um, a thinner break here. Lower staple, large break across the bottom here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a horizontal strip here. Let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. It's just a very, very small piece here, and this will be laid across here. We're going to use methyl cellulose today. So uh, we're, we're working with the wrap. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this wrap wet. We'll return it to the light table uh, in a damp condition, which uh, we're going to be using methyl cellulose today. And then I'll show you how we uh, address the, uh, the tears. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so we have our wrap. I just uh, gave it a rinse in calcium hydroxide to get it damp. We'll peel back the layer of Holytex. Now what we have here is our, you know, the light table works great. So let me bring in the, um, our close-up camera so you can see everything a lot better. There we go. So I'll slide this around. And we'll work down here on this bottom tear. This is the very first tear, as I like to call it, right down here. So it goes from here all the way over to here. So the way we're going to do this is I've already pre-torn uh, my pieces of uh, Japanese paper. And since it's damp, it should stick down fairly easily. And in this particular case, we're going to use, uh, as I said, we're going to use methyl cellulose. So here's our Japanese paper. And I'm going to Carefully put it down right there. So that's yeah, it's hard to see, but believe it or not, it's very invisible. And that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, methyl cellulose, and I'm just gonna put a little bit down here on the brush. So. So what we want to do, and as I've told you, is we try to brush outwards. Like this. We don't want to drag anything. We want the methyl cellulose to bond into the paper. 
All right. And that is it. So it's virtually invisible in, in this particular case. So I have a couple other pieces. Uh, we're just going to move on through here. And you know, if, like I said before in the other video, if this is, is boring to you, then uh, you can just fast forward. So I'm going to put a little piece over this hole here. Now, what we're doing here, and uh, I should have prefaced this, is that we're working from the back side of the spine. So this is where the fold is. This is generally where you're not going to see anything at all. That's where I have the crease of the paper. And we always do that with all of the wraps. Let me slide this down here to the next one. And yes, I did pre-tear some of these pieces of uh, Japanese paper. So, you know, uh, and, and to be fair, this light table, this is the first time I've actually done this. And I have to admit, uh, I got to give credit to my good friend, Dr. Paul. He is the one that suggested this, and it was an awesome idea. All right, we'll slide down. We'll get to this big crack right there. And let me get my next piece. All right, let's use this. Okay, and I, I do use tweezers. Not only is it easy for you guys at home to see, it's also easier for me to lay down. Okay, so I'll just put this one down right there. Roll that with my finger. I'll put some more methyl cellulose down on top of that. Okay. And we're coming up on the next which is the staple holes. Now this one's actually in good shape, so I'm just going to use a couple of little teeny pieces just to put over the hole, and we're going to poke a hole right through this. And it's all dry. Now, methyl cellulose is also part of the makeup of the pulp paper that the book is actually printed on, which makes it easier to um, blend in and bond to the paper. So I'm going to get this one last little teeny piece, and we're going to put it right here over the top. Right there. Now all this is going to do is just reinforce this paper at the staple hole. And we're going to be doing this basically on every single wrap. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm happy with this. So let's go ahead and push this out of the way. So now uh, you can see on our light table here that everything's filled in. So the next thing we're going to do is take what we have here. We're going to run it through the drying process again. And we'll press it nice and flat and it will be done. It will be fully ready for uh, reassembly. Okay, that's it for now. And if you haven't tuned in to our live show yet, Dr. Paul from Liberty Hill Comics Phantom Phil from Phantom Restorations and myself, we have a live chat, we take your questions, we answer as many as we possibly can, and we try to choose interesting topics for the evening to talk about regarding comic conservation, preservation, and restoration. So please join us. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.